To get cool stuff from ZGB, visit ZombieGoBoo.com Zombie Go Boo Kick on dead ass Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Fultz. And today we have a mind-blowing one, a literally mind-blowing episode, or at least hopefully. You've seen it in American History X, except we're not going to do it exactly like American History X because we're dealing with zombies here, and that is the curb stomp. We're going to take one of our Ivan heads, we're going to place it on the curb. American History X style was like this. That's not what we want. What we want is this, so that the temporal bone hits the curb because we are trying to destroy a zombie, not hurt a human being, okay? So, basically that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to see if a curb stomp can save you from the walking dead. Are you excited? I'm always excited. You guys have been wanting to see this for a very long time. The last time we did a test like this was like four years ago, so you're welcome. Please make sure you check out our Patreon at ZombieGoBoom TV. So patreon.com slash ZombieGoBoom TV. Link is in the description below to help support the show during this ad boycott fiasco that's going on. But without further ado, can a curb stomp save you from a zombie attack? All right, for the first stop, I'm just gonna jump into it with my foot and see what one attack does. And after that, we're probably gonna just go crazy. All right, so what happened is I went a little too far forward and it actually rolled up under my foot, <coughs> keeping me from putting maximum pressure into the skull because there's not a body attached to this thing, so there's nothing keeping it from rolling. So uh, it's a little more difficult than an actual curb stomp would be, but we'll get it. All right, in three, two, one. Okay, so just so you guys know, the blood right there, that's actually from the bottom here. We kind of spilled the blood before we put the head on there. So that doesn't mean that the head is being destroyed. It just, you know, it's just leftover blood. But as far as we can tell, the head is pretty intact. Now, again, a knife and head is quite a bit harder than any of the other analogs that we've used on Zombie Go Boom. So they're way harder than the gelatin heads that we used to use. They're way harder than the coconut. It's so that you'd be able to do it to the freshest zombie imaginable, the one with the strongest bone imaginable. So right now we're not getting really good results from the curb because it's basically, it's, it's, it's a curb. It, it, well, it's not sharp, you know, it's kind of really, really, really blunt. The force didn't really go into the skull, it went into the cheekbone. So if we moved it down and put the apex of the curve on the temporal bone, I think it would do a lot better. Yeah, I let's, don't know. let's try that. Well, Charles tried it a couple of times. It doesn't seem to work with one foot. I'm gonna try it myself, and I guess we're just gonna keep going until we figure out the right technique for making sure that a zombie goes to bye-bye land with a curb stop. Slipped off. Yeah. 
damn it. Well, I can't. Well, it's kind of scary. There is blood. So, due to all of those curb stomps, the ones Charles did, the ones I just did, and especially that last one, which actually basically scraped the skin off of the skull, that one was important because it allowed us to look in here. And when we look in here, we can see that it has a hairline fracture across the parietal and temporal bones, and there is blood coming out of it. So, okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's go again. Oh yeah, yeah, lots more hemorrhage. Yeah. A lot more blood. A lot more blood coming out there. Just uh, increasing the same injury basically. But it looks like we gotta hit it a few more times, so let's do it. Oh, dang it. What was it? It seemed like I got a lot more power into it. What'd you do? I turned around and did this. Okay, let me try that. It's like my this. turn. <laughs> one. All right. Three, two, one. That few. It hurt. <laughs> yeah, definitely more blood coming out. Now it's getting pretty serious. Oh no! Yeah, it's it's cracked big time now. Oh yeah. So piece of bone coming out. Big, big open wound going into the cranial cavity. So it's definitely dead by this point. Uh, that's that's a lot of damage. I'm gonna show the live people and then we can do it again. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I missed it. But there's a lot of blood coming out. I'll just let you finish it off, Charles. So, yep. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a puddle of mush. Yeah, so as you can see, we're not getting what you'd expect, which is the entire skull just being crushed in and then breaking into a bunch of pieces. But what we are getting is a lot of bone breaking off, shrapnel from the same bone going into the cranial cavity and lots of blood pulling out. So is it a spectacular thing? No, not really, but does it get the job done? Yeah, after a few go to hits it gets the job done.
whole skull cap came off. <laughs> Whoa. It felt like I slipped on it. Dude. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, uh, no. No brain surgery required. Oh, my God. And look at the That's pool. a lot of blood. I wonder what your neighbors are going to say. With another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom, I'm Chuck Murray. I hope you enjoyed this video from Zombie Go Boom. Obviously, with a little bit of technique, you can destroy an Ivan with a few hits on a curb. And I'm Charles Foltz. There's a lot. Oh, did I say? Yeah. Well, it's I... all good. I'm just giving you hell. <laughs> I love you guys. Please check out the Patreon link in the description below. Subscribe, share, like. I love you. And with another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom, I'm Chuck Murray. Charles Foltz. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>